The next item is to consider approval to hire Tracy Holmes as full-time LPN at the detention center. Sherry passed her. She'll be, she won't be a contract to be work. Oh. Motion. Second. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Ms. Blackman. Yes. Mr. Kirkland. Yes. Mr. Quill. Yes. Item 17, to consider approval to replace full-time medical position with a 36-hour nursing position. Trina Lee will be filling that position. That's a bit, I mean, she went from a manager back down to a part-time employee, so it's a significant change in our budget and the positive. I think part of our savings that we did this year was the medical, where we went to medical ourselves, so. Motion. Second. Mission. Yes. Mr. Cole. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Carter. Yes. yes. Item 18, consider approval of annual revisions for MC Mary County Detention Center in Kellwell for 19 and 20. Barry, you want to? That's, uh, that's, that's required by uh, the jail standards. We have to review the policy every year. Typically, well, there's no uh, large procedural changes other than just some uh, wording changes from here and there. So. What we do over here, so I just need you all to approve it. Anybody ever, I mean, again, it's the same policies. There's uh, like we had the changes past time, where we had CCS as our medical company, stuff like that. So, nothing major. Motion to approve the provisions. Second. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Kirkland. Yes. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Mr. Blackwood. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Number 19. To approval to advertise for feature athletes in the Lebanon Enterprise, and it also has our information on the directory of services and personnel in the same ad. So that's something we do every year, so people can get a hold of us. Uh, the cost is 419 dollars. Motion. Second. Second. Mr. Kirkland. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Blackwell. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. yes. Is to consider approval to advertise job fair for the career center for about a three week period. Is that correct, uh, Elizabeth? I don't have the amount on that one. Does anybody you have the amount? Our part. And that's a huge job fair, I yeah, understand. Job fair on July 9th. Motion to approve the advertised job fair. Second. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Cole. Yes. Mr. Blackwell. Yes. Mr. Kirk. Yes. yes. Item 21, consider approval of the AOC Corp Facilities Local Government Reimbursement Form. We've had to use this a little bit here lately. We've had some issues uh, across the way, so uh, it's worked so far. Uh, typically what that is, if there's a non-recurring expense, they will help take care of it a lot of times as far as uh, unexpected issues with the building. Uh, you know, Lisa, you know we're having some issues across the way, so um, that's what that is. Looking at some action on some of that too, also on the building itself. I mean, we haven't yet, but we, we probably need to. Before the time runs out. Before the time <laughs> runs out. Uh, but we do need a motion to approve that. Motion. Yes. 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 Item number 22 is to consider approval to surplus a FEMA trailer that is located in Braversville and donate that to the city of Braversville. Uh, Alvin, I think you might know a little bit about that. So, is it, yeah. they, uh, the last commissioner's meeting, they had that trailer looked at. 
that by the person who works on them as far as repairing. The word they were given was it's pretty much not able to be repaired. Now, I have not seen the inside of the trailer. It is a pretty good sized trailer. And as they had thought they need to sell it for the metal or whatever they could get out of it in the budget. Uh, other than that, you know, they're sitting there and it eventually is going to become a health hazard, I guess, with plants and everything else. But they removed what they could out of it. They had it looked at and they were told that this would be the kind of repair that only Mr. Perkins had a chance to talk to them or not. I have not spoken to any of them, but I know it's sat there in the same place for a pretty good little while now. So and We got those trailers in 2010 for the flood in 2010, and they were actually trailers come from Hurricane Katrina down in Louisiana, so they were pretty rough shape when we got them. That was in 2005. Those trailers in the American. No, it was 2010, but I wasn't there in 2005. It was 2010. Motion to um, surplus the family trailers to to uh, Bradgerville. Take it. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Kirk. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. Mr. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Bishop. Yes. Yes. Twenty-three. Consider approval for Magistrate Bishop to allocate one thousand for building repairs at the St. Joe Community Center from Physical Court Project Funds. <coughs> Got some. Uh, a building there that really needs gutters and things put on it. We put some rock in there before the picnic, but it's storage a road out the where they the cook hall. and the storage, and, and uh, it's eroding the ground there and the foundation beside of it. So they're going to put gutters and, and things on it and do a few other repairs. So I'd like to make a motion to allocate the thousand dollars to help with that. Second, I would uh, also donate five hundred toward that cause to help Appreciate you get back in good shape. I'll donate. Five hundred two. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. Yes, Mr. Kirkland. Yes, Mr. Well. Yes, Ms. Blackman. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, the next item, department reports. Jimmy, looks like you got a report here. Need a motion on that. Motion to second. Thirty-eight hundred and fifty-five dollars. Mr. Coel. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Mr. Kirk. Yes. Uh, we usually make uh, four hundred tons of coal mix, and we have uh, it usually runs us about forty-five dollars a ton. That's $18,000. I'd like to get some made real quick. Motion. Second. Mr. Fish. Yes. Mr. Kirkman. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. Mr. Bowden. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Unanimous. Uh, we've got the boom mower out running the bush hall. You know how much it's raining. We did spray, but the much rain we've got to spray, it's going to quit working. Thank you for coming back. But I've got everything out. Y'all seen any problems? Y'all give me a call. Uh, we work all week on ditching and stuff. Got the rain. We're trying to get everything put back together. Other than that, everything's all right for sure. Any questions? Looks good. That looks good, Jimmy. Thank you all. Yeah, the rain. Thank you. Bicket Lane down there. Uh, I haven't got a hold of Joe Thompson. Uh, we have got an issue there on Bickett Lane where uh, we're going to have to pretty well probably get a, a whole ram in for a couple days and uh, cut a bank and stuff out that continues to wash out. Um, talked to the one property owner and left a card on the door of the other property owner. I think he works out of town a little bit, so I haven't heard back from him. But I, I don't see it to be an issue that, that both of them probably – because we can take the material from the one side we dig out and fill the other side in. So that'll be a project we'll probably be taking care of. And then we're working on Frank Lee Road uh, down there as well. We've got three spots undercutting the road 
Jimmy, we've gotten permission. I've already got the papers signed from both property owners, and uh, we'll be recutting that whole ditch through there, won't we, Jimmy? As soon as the weather drives up. Yeah. We've got several issues with the subdivision out there below the grain bins, below the rock quarry, and they're trying to work with the state. They did some work, but they need to do a little more work, I think. But the culvert's not running about a half full, but the water's overflowing the going down through some yards but there's a couple of item issues going on <clears throat> i think we're gonna have to get with the state and they cut the berm down <clears throat> somewhat used to be a big bank there mm -hmm. it's, <clears throat> it's down a lot lower than the state ditch is not hardly as deep as it should be and it's causing problems but <clears throat> they had an issue through there quite a bit for several <clears throat> years now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've cleaned the ditch out somewhat but it still needs there's a couple of things going on, but we're going to check into it. This water, I mean, people, a lot of people realize it, but a lot of people don't. How much damage these, we don't get normal rains anymore. We get these heavy rains, and and uh, it's cutting our ditches out. It's, it's eroding things. It's undercutting our roads. Uh, Y'all had put, to clean out culverts this, this past week after a big rain, it completely filled, uh, filled the culverts full, and... Uh, Thanks to the Raywick Fire Department, they did come out and help blow uh, a lot of those culprits out because they were unable to get in and and actually clean them out. So, uh, you know, these these heavy rains are just uh, costing the county a lot of money. Yeah, it is. It really is. So, sure is. Jimmy, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, <coughs> Keith, not here um, on the solid waste. Um, I'm going <coughs> to Frankfurt tomorrow to hopefully get a a grant for a uh, help pay for a new dead animal truck for uh, new dead animal truck basically what it is so hopefully we'll get that it's coming from the ag development board uh, <coughs> so i think we've applied for twenty thousand hopefully we'll get that uh barry uh turned into month reports uh one uh when you get into the middle of the report on the classification page on the All of our intake of detainees from state police, Washington County, Sheriff Department, et cetera, does indeed 50% of all of the, of, of the, all of the intake come out of, comes out of the Lebanon Police Department. So, uh, anyway, just that, 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 there are several counties that I know that are starting to track that separately. Uh, I don't know if, the, if it counts for anything or not, but it just shows you where all of your your activity and arrest most are coming out of. Uh, Judge Darty and I have, have spent the last couple of years, uh, of course we've been longer than that really, uh, several years lobbying in Frankfurt for additional funding and stuff for the jail. And, and I know that I've, I've mentioned it to you all and I, I mean, Judy was down there just a few weeks ago we was talking about it. The Secretary of Justice uh, gave us a verbal on two occasions that they was going to enhance uh, some money for our programs. Uh, well, I got word as of this morning that uh, I, I pushed the issue because we hadn't heard anything from it, but it's not happening. I will ask you that as you get involved with the Magistrate Association and the Judge Association, uh, I, I can tell you the Jailer Association uh, appears to be uh, very vocal and, and hot on the issue that the state has went now, you know, 12 more than 13, 14 years since they made any adjustment to that for them. When you're with those associations, that, that's, that subject has to be, you know, I mean, we have to be out there and vocal about it. Uh, I mean, because right now, the cost of housing prisoners at any one of their prisons is they exceed $65 to $70 a day. And for them to, to think that they can get $31 to $40 a day out of the county, I mean, we, our cost is cost us the same. We're having the same issues as they are on, on staff retention. And if you notice uh, some of the advertisements the state right now, they're having so much trouble staffing the prisons and they're asking legislators for more money to and you know to up those salaries and stuff. But we're in the same situation. So just make sure that when you're with the, uh, your associations that that subject uh, gets 
tabled and, and, it's, and it needs to be, uh, you know, they, some of the legislators said they're going to push for adjustment this 2020, but yeah, we need it. So just uh, put that out there. We're, we are going to host a job fair uh, at the detention center for, for our sales and for the county government offices. So anybody, it's going to be July the 30th. Uh, so we'll have the advertisements and stuff out on it. But in the county uh, departments, uh, it would be nice if, it, if somebody had something, someone there uh, or something there trying to recruit some folks to the county government. So that'll be July 30th at the detention center. So we'll have advertisements and stuff out on the end. Um, to tell you I was so impressed. Thank you. I was, and I think we're very lucky to have you and the knowledge that you bring with your job. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dear. You're entirely You're welcome. 33 years of, of I, I could tell. <laughs> I was impressed. Thank you. You're welcome. You. I want to brag on the mowing crew. It seemed like with all this rain and bad weather, they're doing a great job keeping caught up. Brad Moore has taken that project and he's just yeah, they run with it. Knock yeah. it out of the car. Yeah. Have y'all quit picking up the cardboard, right? No. Well, that's no, all I've seen the city of Lebanon truck down to uh, food land the other day to pick it up. Was it? That's, that's just, well, we're... I mean, it's a city of Lebanon truck. You may have yeah. our county. No, our that's... We're, we're working on some some things on that as well, so... Yeah. But they, they, they use the city equipment for all that. Thank you, Bert. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Rob? Uh, we entered 226 calls for service in the month of May, and as of uh, June the 19th, we were 1,241 calls for the evening. Other than that, things are going pretty well. Good. Thank you, Rob. And most, most of those are in city. Is that right? And Gary. Everything's going good. They're really busy, and uh, she said everything's on schedule out there. Everything's going good. Good, good. And Elizabeth. So thank you all for the, for the advertising. Questions. We are looking forward to the job fair. So we've got a job fair on Monday that will be held in Springfield. Uh, TG will be the employer. We've got. Uh, but it's going to be in the morning. Then we have the big job fair coming up July 9th. We've got over 20 employers signed up. That's going to be held at the library. So we've got it out there on Facebook already. So if you see it, like, share it. Um, trying to get the word out. And then again, we've got the detention center job fair coming up on July 30th. And then, uh, like I said, TG is going to be on Monday from 9 to 12. I've got some numbers. I think our last meeting, we didn't all have them because there were before the end of the month, 
to share with you. Our total office traffic for May was 383. Um, events and job fairs, total traffic was 467. Uh, as far as applications that we sent out, um, that's over 138. That we just sent out a lot of people, we email them out, but these are just the paper ones that we, that we sent out. Or if they apply online, it's very hard to track every application that a person sits and does online in an office. But we're there to assist with their resume and any questions. <coughs> Busy place. Busy place. All right. Good. Thank Good. you, Elizabeth. Uh, the next item is old business, new business. Uh, item A is to consider approval of the annual budget for Marion County Conservation District. They were at the last meeting to present. Uh, Motion to approve the budget for the Conservation District. Second. Well, yeah. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Mr. Blackman. Yes. Mr. Kirkman. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. No. Item B is consider approval of 2018 sheriff's tax settlement. It looks like we, the sheriff collected $10,526,377 at a rate of 99.42%. So I think it's Excellent. pretty good. Very good. That's good. He must have been leaning on Thank real hard, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> good job. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Bowman? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mr. Kirk? Yes. Mr. Blackwell? Yes. Mr. Yes. Now. Item C is consider approval to reappoint Lisa Nally Martin to the Board of Health. Lisa? Is she, is she willing to accept it? <laughs> <laughs> Motion. Second. Second. Yes. Second. <laughs> Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Mr. Blackwell. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. D is consider approval of payment for the PBA Appeals Board members at a rate of $100 each. Uh, that's, we do that every year as well. Motion. Second. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mr. Blackman? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. I've got to consider approval to surplus. Uh, there was a Jeep that we had uh, given to the Gravel Switch Fire Department that is, uh, I think it's been in about every department in, in, in the county <laughs> once upon a time. So. I think it's yeah. I think it's finally. Uh, I think it's about at its last stop. So uh, they've asked to uh, surplus that and accept bids on it. Uh, so we need to, they want to surplus it and, say, and advertise for bids. Uh, that's what we need to do. Second. Mr. Fish. Yes. Mr. Kirk. Yes. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. yes. I have is to consider approval to accept the bid for for the utility trailer from the sheriff's department from Mr. Andy Mattingly in the amount of what was it? $450. $450. That's the ones we did about two meetings ago, I think. Yes. Yeah. We hadn't accepted that yet. So. Uh, Motion mother. to accept bid. I thought he doesn't got it. Well, Mr. Kirk. Yes. Mr. Fish. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. Mr. Fogel. Yes. Next. Question, Judge. On the, I was talking to the Washington County's judge. Did are you in discussion with them about the dead animal? Is there something? I'm gonna be with him tomorrow. So. Okay, because he asked if we discussed it, and I yeah. said I didn't know yeah, yeah. that you're gonna meet with him. I'm gonna, he's going to Frankfurt with me in the morning. So okay. We'll, well, just, we're going. Okay. Have that discussion as well. So. Okay. I didn't, he just asked, and I said, as far as I know, we hadn't discussed it, but I knew he was talking about it. But. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Need to pay the bills? Yep. Motion to pay the bills with exceptions? Second. Our additions, I'm sorry. Additions. With additions. I'll do a second. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Mr. Bowen. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Kirkman. Yes. Mr. Black. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. 